guys, Reviews for Dex here, and I'm going to be reviewing the Emerald Artifice V2 by Illusionist. The box is really simple. There's not much going on. There's no embossing or anything. But on the back, I wish they would have not had the borders because I think it looks kind of weird. Especially how dark the rest of the box is. The cards themselves, the back design is really cool. You have metallic emerald and silver inks, and a lot of these really fancy sort of Venetian looking things, and they're pretty nice, and yeah, the borders, I don't know if you can see, but they're sort of like fringes, and they look really nice. Almost nothing in this is like a straight line, there's lots of fringes and circling, yeah. Um, you get a double backer, which is always handy, and the two jokers, they're like a guy standing in sort of like green mist, and he's holding a card behind his back, and on one joker it's just the back design of the Emerald Artifice deck, and the other one, it is an ace of hearts, I think. It's really hard to see, but you can probably use it as either an ace of hearts or diamonds. Um, the Ace of Spades looks like this. And it is like a ribbon that forms sort of like a... It, it just forms the upside down heart part of a spade. And then these two guns, they're like two revolvers back to back, form like the stem to the spade. And this is Artifice. Um, one thing I don't like about this deck is it does have custom pips but they're rounder and fatter and personally I like the sharper kind of pip designs and also the corner end dices might just be me but they look a little smaller um, the court cards however are really cool they have a lot darker color scheme and they have sort of chubbier faces and then there's no border around them which I personally love because I hate the border around court cards so yeah, you can kind of see they like chub your faces. So let's get into the handling. The deck fans really well and it holds up for a long time. And you can see a lot of the pips in there. So um, the deck dribbles almost perfectly. And the stock is really springy. It really wants to hold its form, so it springs really well. And unlike most Edex, I think this might just be the performance coating, but the UV500 finish was sort of waxy, whereas the performance finish is kind of hard, which I like a lot better. So, yeah. Um, other than that, uh, the Pharaohs on this deck are a little below par because I don't think they're that great. I mean, like, it's going to take me forever to get a good Pharaoh here. And, yeah, I didn't even get a perfect one there. So, I don't like the Pharaohs on this deck, personally. But, I mean, it's nothing to like destroy the deck in terms of how much I like it. However, giant fans, which are usually some of my favorite parts about cards, are super boring on this deck. Because there's not much in the back design, you don't get much in giant fans. So, just so-so there. Um, out of 10, because of the terrible fairway and the fact that I don't really like the box too much, I'd probably give this deck an 8.5. It's very along the lines of the steampunk deck in terms of how much I like it. So, yeah. But definitely a good deck if you like the look and you like the back design like I do. Definitely check it out. Thanks for watching.